No. No way. No, please. Oh, video day. Hello and welcome. Merry Christmas, everyone. Is everyone enjoying the time off? For those of you who have the time off, that way you'll be able to shovel, right? Because that's what I'm doing. A lot of shoveling here. Top left, sinus iridum, the apple bite. Look at the way the mountain is formed, the circular mountain is formed. But before that, let's look at this beautiful surface on the edge of a crater and in Oceanus Procellarum, on the near side of, the, of Earth, on the bottom outer limits of the Moon. It's there. They are there. These structurings are there. Whether they're inhabited or not, we can't help but wonder when we see lights actively oscillating inside the craters of these certain areas on the surface of the Moon. Why would they be oscillating? Why would there be straight paths? I mean, guys, they're a little too straight to be ejecta, okay? This is just so long me, okay? They do look a lot uh, too straight to be natural. You can clearly see that. So now we wonder, are these pipes that people are going through? Are these pipes that liquid is going through? Is there gas going through it? Because there's only so many elements that us as humans know, right? We have either solid, physical, right, material, or we have ionic gas, nuclear gas. We have different gases, densities in gases. I mean, what is being formed or created or produced on the surface of the moon? So long me, it's my belief, and I'm allowed to express my belief. I'm not denying any other statements of, of anyone. I never do, but I like freely sharing my beliefs and these <laughs> wow the craters are flat they are formed flat at the tops guys they cannot be natural so long me they can really not be natural this complex was the most amazing we'll just call it an anomaly if you want with lights and pipes i mean come on come on guys I know a lot of you are saying, well, I agree with you, Bruce. I agree with you. I know. I'm just trying to pull the legs of the ones that don't uh, want to even take the time to believe what could happen. This is the point of sinus iridum. I'm not hiding um, the area. I'm telling you all right at the end of the apple bite that I always call it sinus iridum. Look now, dead center. Think of it. 
this is a massive structure that no one's seen because they all want to see it so beautifully. Well, it is beautiful and it's there. This is the massive complex in the center of Sinus Iridum. You could see it in the round apple bite. It's dead center. It's there in all my photos. It's there in every photo with three different devices. Nobody's gonna tell me there are not abandoned or inhabited structures in Sinus Iridum. And then you wonder why China went up to Sinus Iridum. Well, of course they went to Sinus Iridum. There's an abandoned city there they have to explore. The problem is they can't land there. I've tried to show these pictures without mentioning some of the structures and people just are not noticing them. You're looking at this area right here is the corner of the mountain. You know that mountain in Sinus Iridum where it sticks out unnaturally? This is it. There's an overlaying massive flat platform with entrances complexes standing one over the other built with intricate levels and detailed entrances and detailed corridors connecting to every single structure around the sinus iridum fake mountain so now instead of hearing people complain that these bloody structures are blurry why don't you open your eyes and tell me what the hell they are why is this blurry structure in sinus iridum if I'm getting it blurry, it's because it's my only capability with the bloody 4-inch telescope. And wait till I get the 14 out. The 14 is going to show you the chairs and the people sitting around having drinks around these places. This is ridiculous that people are not noticing that Sinus Iridum has this massive complex the size of a friggin' continent in the center of it. Once these astronauts go up there, these structures will lose them. They're going to pass off for being um, space agency structures. They're going to pass off for being Labatube uh, bases that were built by humans in the year 2000 on the way up. You know, and people aren't going to see these. So we're going to lose the chance, the true seekers and the ones trying to prove things uh, to the world. The things are up there. We're going to lose that chance. And it's coming very closely because they're going to be moving on this. And if ever this structure comes out, if ever this point of mountain is talked about by uh, an agency on television, I will jump at the fact that I've been saying this for years and I will have my proof all about photo compression. We're stretching out the photo, we're zoomed in ever so close. So we see uh, the pixelation um, on the grid of the algorithm of the photo is distance therefore we're going to get gaps and we're going to get some blurriness here it's not as distance this is the same hazy photo basically compressed and you see how it brings things together more and we can actually see the structuring on the surface Bianchini crater my friends this is the magnificent overpass or platform or building structure that's there connected to all these incredibly scary structures I love looking at them. They're absolutely dreamy. Because you know what? If ever I would have guessed that there were structures on the moon, I guarantee you this is exactly how I would have thought of them being. It's just logic. It just makes sense. All this dust on the surface of the moon. It's not for nothing NASA began and created the probe LADEE. L-A-D-E-E. -E. This probe was to monitor and to record all the dust activity on the surface. And at one point, 2013, it was an announcement uh, talking about uh, a problem, a sort of dust storm between two countries, if you want, China and the States, because um, the moon lander, uh, China's moon lander, was supposed to disrupt uh, Laddie's uh, phase, you know, uh, in the atmosphere of the moon, as the probe would record the dust activity. For some reason, they had mentioned that, but just again, to talk about some of you that are saying uh, there is absolutely no dust on the moon. There is. So this really looks like a shell that is built a crust over top of the actual surface of the moon, meaning there could be as many cities and structures under this area. As I'll back out, you will see what I mean. It's just connected puzzling platforms and layers that are each and every one of them are connected. Look at the bottom right there. 
blurry or not, guys, this is close. You must all understand that zooming up into a photo, it gets blurry, okay? Well, if we want to see these the way we're seeing them, we should count ourselves lucky. Trust me, I'm close, okay? This is why we don't see hundreds of videos like this on the internet. At one point, someone is going to find the capability and editing technique of showing a different surface, but nobody will believe it. So I really do hope, look at this structure, anomaly, let's call it. What do you think it is? It's built. Who cares what it is? It's something that's too straight to be there. <laughs> In general, that's the only thing I'm trying to uh, show you all. These beautiful people, John Douglas, all the way down to Graham Sampton. Bro, I love you for contributing, for being a part of the community, Graham. And uh, all of you, you know, this is going to be amazing. A dream's going to come true. And it's not one person's dream, it's the community's dream. We're going to see um, my work, the telescope and operation. Uh, WSO YouTube channel. Steve Olson is also checking what's up there in the sky with many other channels. Check them out, guys. Thanks a lot.